What's going on YouTube? GS right here. In today's video we're discussing about iOS 15.5 and what you should do if you want to jailbreak but you're running 15.5 at the moment. Whether you should update or not or stay where you are. This video is brought to you by Starsoft KeyPass, a software that allows you to basically bypass the iCloud activation and of course get usability out of your device if you bought it second hand or you forgot your password or of course you bought it from a different country and you cannot activate it because of the SIM card. Starsoft KeyPass is available for Windows and it supports multiple scenarios. Scenarios. Definitely check it out in the link below. So as you probably remember yesterday I made a video and I published it over here on my account which said that Fugu 15 jailbreak was announced by Linus Hensi and of course will be presented at the Objective by the Sea conference. You can check it out in here, Linus Hensi, and apparently this will support 15.4.1 all the way down to 15.0. There is a problem though, 15.5 is currently the latest version available and 15.4.1 is no longer signed. However, there is still a way if you're running an older version and you're jailbroken. However, there might still be a way to get the 15.4.1 in certain circumstances. For example, delay OTA. I should probably make a video about that. But what if you're on 15.5 and there is no way for you? Well, if you're running 15.5, you shouldn't go to 16 beta. 15.5 is still better than going to 16 beta because we don't know for the moment what 16 beta has in store. Torin and of course Uncover will not support 15.5 by default. Torin, which basically will be transformed in Cheo jailbreak will support iOS 15.0 to 15.1.1. But once this research by Lana Senzi gets published, we might see support up to 15.4.1. However, even if you're running 15.5, you should not update because by that point, we probably will have an exploit for 15.5 as well. Now, what I would definitely recommend, and I made this recommendation in my previous video as well, is to save the blobs for iOS 15.5. You never know when they can come in handy because a couple of days ago we had no idea Fugu 15 will be a thing. However, now we know that we will have a jailbreak for 15.4.1 with Fugu 15. This was announced basically yesterday, so the things can change from one day to another. 15.4.1 is basically the second to last version over here, so nobody thought we will see something about a jailbreak anytime soon. But as it turns out, we will. So I would definitely advise you to save your blobs and do not update the iOS 16. I know it's tempting because of the new lock screen and stuff like that, but if you want a jailbreak, even 15.5 is better than iOS 16. The more you update, the more you're going to have to wait. And if you keep updating, you are never going to have a jailbreak because we never get jailbreaks for the latest version nowadays. It's a trade-off you have to make. If you want a jailbreak, stay as low as possible. Now, if you're running 15.4.1, you should be okay. You should stay there, do not update to 15.5, make sure that the auto updates are turned off, but that's basically it for you. Just wait for Linus Hensi to drop this on October. But if you're running 15.5, this project by Linus Hensi will unfortunately not be compatible for you for the moment, but you should definitely not update. So yeah, even if iOS 15.5 looks bad for the moment, you should not update. We will get to a point where 15.5 will be like 15.4.1, one, where a vulnerability will be available and a jailbreak would be announced. But if you keep updating, you will never get to that point. So stay where you are, even if no tools for the moment are announcing any support for 15.5. If you're running an older version, definitely stay where you are. Do not update. Thank you for watching. I'm Gilles. Now we'll keep you updated with anything that's going on in the jailbreak community. Until the next time, peace out.